Dear my students, today is our last topic, linear transformation. We have three uh, concepts. First, we call centroid. Next one, we call linear transformation. Linear transformation, we have two, uniform scanning and uh, rotation about the origin. Let's start one by one. Centroid, you just remember, it is average, average, average. So suppose we have the vector in R2, they have the two elements. So the centroid is defined to uh, a vector. Every component is average. The centroid is a vector whose first component is the average of the first components. And the second component is the average of the second component. Such as if we have example, we have three vectors. The centroid, it is the every component's average. The first component, it is one, five, four. So one plus five plus four over three is 10 over three. Second is 13 over three. Next to our main topic for today, linear transformation. As we say, the linear transformation, we are thinking about the uniform scanning and the rotation. To do this, let's give some of the background. The linear transformation, just the two components vector, they are linear combination the two components, such as ax plus by, six plus by. If we use the shorthand notation. It is, can be right as a matrix time a vector. So the first one, uniform scaling. Here, C is a constant and the linear transformation TC, which means every component times C becomes six C1. It is the matrix times another component. The matrix is the diagonal matrix. The C and the C others is zero. So the uniform scanning, just every component times same consistent C. Rotation about the origin. Because every vector we can um, express in terms of the standard basis. Here, I and the G is standard basis. Last lecture, we, we mentioned that I, it is one, zero. G, it is zero, one. So if we can rotate the, the axis by considering the unit vector E1, A and B, E2 minus B and A. So you can see any vector X, Y, if we uh, rotated the E1, which means X, E1 plus Y, E2. Therefore, if we do the um, calculation, we come, we get one matrix times the vector x and y. We can compute the uniform scanning and the rotation. However, some people say that it is uh, uh, two transformation. It is the order, it is important or not. Here, we prove, we don't care about who is the first, who is the second, such as we can first to uniform scaling, then rotation, or we can do first rotation, then uniform scaling. The results, it is the same. We prove this. 
Here it is the first uh, uh, uniform skinning, then rotation. So you can see the first uh, mm, uniform skinning, then rotation. Here it is first uh, uh, rotation, then uniform skinning. They are exactly the same. So this finally, if any vector x and y, if we make linear transformation, it is can be alpha minus beta, beta alpha x y. So the matrix has the following form, which means can be described as uniform scaling and the rotation as a form. Alpha minus beta, beta alpha where alpha and the beta are real number. So the vector a alpha beta indicates the direction of the rotated x axis. Uh, here we have example. Suppose we have following matrix three minus two, second row two, three. So here you can see, ask us, it is uniform scaling or rotation. If so, describe the transformation. The matrix it is four, this kind of things. Here you can see alpha it is three, beta it is two. So yes, the corresponding linear transformation can be interpreted as uniform scaling and rotation. The length of the vector it is three and two. So the length it is square root of 13. Therefore, corresponding the unit vector, it is e1, it is 3 over square root 13, 2 over square root 13. Description, it is a uniform skinning with a factor of 13 and the rotated the x axis in the direction e1. Let's summarize today. Today, we have learned two concepts. First one, we call centroid. Centroid, you guys just remember, it is the average. Every component average. Another one, main topic is linear transformation. Linear transformation, we just learned two. One, it is unit. Unit, uniform scaling, we call uniform scaling. Another one is rotation about origin. So combine the uniform scaling and the rotation about origin, we have the we have the following formula. So here, the uniform scaling and the rotation as the form matrix. It is two times two matrix. The first row, it is alpha minus beta. Second row, it is beta alpha. If they have this kind of form, which means it is uniform skinny and the rotation, please, please remember this. This will do your like the practice uh, example and the final example. I will be give this kind of topic for you. So this for today lecture. For next week, I'm planning to give your practice example, uh, practice exam for the final and the review what we learned for this term. So don't worry about that. Everything is under control. I hope you guys enjoy the, the lectures also be safe. Bye-bye.